Hey guys, and welcome to the shack. I recently ordered a two pound bottle of potassium hydroxide from Duda Diesel for under $7. I plan on using it in future videos to titrate technical grade acids, but to do that I need to know its exact purity. It is listed as 90 plus percent pure, but since it is tech grade, purity is not guaranteed. In this video, I will determine its purity via titration, and then go one step further by purifying it using recrystallization. So in this graduated cylinder, I have 80 milliliters of water with 4.4 grams of potassium hydroxide dissolved in it. As you can see, it's a clear solution, which means that the impurities, whatever they are, are water soluble. So that will make purification a bit more difficult. Anyway, assuming the KOH is 90% pure, the concentration of this hydroxide solution is 0.89 molar. Food grade 5% vinegar is 0.874 molar, and I have 50 milliliters of it in a flask, so that equates to 0.0437 moles of acid, which means I will need 0.043 moles of the potassium hydroxide to neutralize it, and that comes out to be about 49 milliliters of this solution. Alright, let's get started. I'll add in a few drops of phenolphthalein indicator solution to the flask containing vinegar and mix them thoroughly. And now I will begin adding the potassium hydroxide solution until the pink color persists. Now the pink color is starting to get a little more persistent, so I'll add the rest of the potassium hydroxide titrate solution via pipette. And we are finished! Looks like I have used 54 milliliters of the titrant. I added a bit too much, I should have ended up with a light pink solution. So I'm going to perform three more titrations and average the results. By the way, this solution looks cloudy, but that's because of the bad lighting. Outside, you can clearly see that it is transparent. Okay, I just performed three more titrations, and this is the color I got on my first and second ones. However, the third time I used way too much titrant and got a dark pink. After averaging the results, I concluded that this potassium hydroxide is 94.78% pure. However, you will need to titrate this yourself if you buy it because it may not have the same purity. Now we need to test our results. I have measured out 3.13 grams of the potassium hydroxide and dissolved it in some water. If it is indeed 94.78% pure, then there should be 2.967 grams of actual potassium hydroxide present, or 0.0529 moles. Thus, to neutralize it, we will need 0.0529 moles, or 60.5 milliliters of vinegar. If, after adding the vinegar, we have a clear or light pink solution, our results are reasonably accurate. However, if the end color is a dark pink, then I suck at math. So I'm adding in a few drops of phenolphthalein indicator solution, and it's actually starting out as only a light pink color, but that's because the hydroxide solution is very dilute. And now I will begin adding the 60.5 milliliters of vinegar. Okay, now it is a very light pink, and you might not even be able to see it on camera. Here goes the last milliliter of vinegar, and I don't suck at math. We have ended up with a clear solution, and it stays clear even with the addition of more phenolphthalein. Thus we can conclude that our results are pretty accurate. I decided not to purify the potassium hydroxide, because doing so would involve creating a supersaturated solution of potassium hydroxide, and concentrated hydroxides can eat through glass containers, or at the very minimum, severely damage them. In the future, I may show the purification process in a steel container. You can't use aluminum because well, yeah.